Retinol is really a staple of skincare. Hi, Amy. Hi. So I'm turning 40 uh, and I've started to see some significant changes in my skin. Uh, so I really want to start making my skincare routine a priority. I have heard that retinol uh, can help with anti-aging, but I've put off uh, starting to use it because I recently had a baby and it was rec uh, recommended to not use while I was pregnant and breastfeeding. Uh, I'm since done breastfeeding and I would love to find out uh, if this is, if retinol is something I should start to use now and how you would recommend I incorporate it into my skincare routine. Well, Amy, that is a fantastic question. And retinol is one of the most popular things that people ask me about. It's one of the most popular things that are searched online. And that's because it's one of the most important ingredients that we can use for in our skin. It's actually an, an vitamin that was discovered in the 1970s. And it's a healthy vitamin for our skin that really helps it keep uh, grow properly so that our pores stay open, so that we have a more even skin tone, that we have less darkness in our skin and that we have less fine lines and wrinkles. So retinol is really a staple of skincare, but it's not, um, it's not something you can just jump in and use right away like a moisturizer or a sunscreen. So it's really important to kind of think about how you use it and to really start gradually. I advise my patients to really ease into using retinol because if they put it all over their face every night, they're gonna have redness, stinging, irritation, and they're gonna hate it and they're gonna stop using it. So what I generally advise my patients to do is to start slow. So you're gonna put it on at nighttime and you're only gonna use it one night a week for the first week. And we apply it at nighttime wow. because retinol, yeah, it's inactivated by the sun. So it's not something you generally wanna do in the morning, but right after you wash your face, you can put on a pea size amount. And that's what I kind of advise patients to do um, is to start just one night a week with a pea size amount. They're gonna put um, a just it from the middle of your face out, this is the amount you should be using and put it all over your face. Now, if you tolerate it one night a week, then the next week you can start using it two nights a week. And if you tolerate it two nights a week, then the next night you can, the next week you can go to three nights a week and et cetera, et cetera, until you find that, that happy balance with your skin. Now, the other thing that's important is that, you know, sometimes patients need, there's different types of retinol to do. This is actually a cream-based one by Roque, which I really like. It's, it's a milder one. I think it's a great starter product. There's some more intensive ones on the market now. This is one by Neutrogena called uh, Retinol Pro Plus, which is a little bit more intense. Um, but you, like I said, you want to start slowly. You want to use a pea size amount. And for some patients, it's a really good idea to buffer it. So what buffering means is you're gonna mix it with a moisturizer. So I have the same amount of moisturizer here. I'm mixing them together and then you can apply a, the, the pea size amount to the whole face. Again, work from the middle of your face out. And then finally, for my very sensitive patients, like if you know you're prone to redness and everything irritates you, I layer it. So I have patients use the hyaluronic acid serum first and then they put on the retinol and then they put on the moisturizer and we call that a retinol sandwich. So you do all three steps um, and generally- That's me, I'm, I, that am, I am Hive City. <laughs> yeah, I'm retinol Hive sandwich. City. I'm, yeah. I am sensitive to everything as Ann knows. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and again, not, retinol is not for everyone, Rachel. And, and, you know, and so that's why it's really important to talk to your dermatologist about if, if it's right for you and how you should use it. But I love that she brought up, um, too, that this is a question, you know, that she's facing because she's about to turn 40 and you look very beautiful yeah. and very youthful. Thank you. Thank you but very I've much. Been, I've been moisturizing since I was a teenager. What age should people really start taking their skincare most seriously? Is yeah. there an age, uh, you know, that well, you well, recommend? You know, I I have young kids, so, you know, sunscreen should be used by everybody, and I have them start doing that, but I think, you know, I think I find most um, people around puberty, um, into college ages, in their early 20s, really start to question what should they, they be doing with their skin, and um, moisturizer is super important because that creates a barrier for our skin, and when your skin is moisturized, it's less likely to become irritated or prone to rashes, and so moisturizer on a daily basis is a great idea. Retinol is kind of like the next step for when you're trying to think about an anti-aging product.